In this problem, we are being asked to determine a sample space and an outcome for an event. These are terms from probability. Sample space means all of the possible outcomes. So if you were flipping a coin, for example, the sample space, we'd write it as a set, would be heads and tails, because those are all the possible things that you can get when you flip a coin. An event would be an outcome, or maybe a set of outcomes if you've got something a little more complicated. For flipping a coin, the outcome might be you got heads. So you'd put that in those little set brackets. All right, let's read this problem and see if we can figure it out. It says, a bag has six balls labeled A, B, C, D, E, and F. One ball will be randomly picked, and its letter will be recorded as the outcome. Give the sample space describing all the possible outcomes. Well, you've got a bag. It's got those balls with those letters on them. The, all the possibilities are you could get an A, a B, a C, a D, an E, or an F. So that's what we write for the sample space. So inside those brackets, we put A, B, C, D, E, and F. All right. And then it says, give all the outcomes for the event of choosing letter A or C. So in that particular event, that's a little bit um, strange. The event is that you, you pulled out either A or you pulled out C. And we want to give all the possible um, outcomes for that particular event. Well, so you've picked either A or C. One possibility is that you picked A. The other possibility is that you picked C. So we would write it like that. So that's a little bit of work with writing sample spaces and events.